Hi, welcome to the Chi Channel and Chi-licious cooking. I'm Mary Kay. And I'm Cecile. Today, we're going to make a four pepper pasta. We've got one large red pepper sliced. We've got one large yellow pepper sliced. We've got one large green pepper sliced. And, and the onion, you can smell the onion. <laughs> We've got some garlic, some olive oil, tablespoon of sugar, three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. You can use red wine vinegar, but I like the balsamic vinegar. It really gives it a good taste. We've got some dried basil and some black pepper and some olive oil. Now, we've already cut our onions and our peppers, so what we're going to do is, over a medium-high heat, we're going to put our oil in. Um, this is the go. olive oil. Then we're going to cook our peppers and our onions. First this. Well, okay. Let's throw the onion in. Oh, hear that sizzle. Peppers. Yellow pepper. Green pepper. And a red pepper. Good. We're going to stir this up, let this sizzle some more. Look how colorful. Yeah, oh, yeah. Really Lots of color in this one. Let's throw some garlic in here. There you go. And let's put in a little bit of salt. There. Now we're going to cook this until it's tender and a little bit browned. So we'll be back. We are back. This has been cooking up. Mm -hmm. We've browned it a little bit. And it tastes good because I have a piece. Oh, it smells good. Mm -hmm. All right. Now. Now what? We're going to add the sugar. I guess it's this one. Put a little bit of sugar in it. The balsamic vinegar. Oh, here we go. Like I said before, you can use red wine vinegar, but I really like the taste of balsamic vinegar. Okay, the basil, this one. Now, do you remember we called this four pepper pasta? I put in the green pepper, I put in the red pepper, I put in the yellow pepper. We've got some black pepper here. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Here's our fourth pepper. Now, that you can put in just as much as you like. Takes on a nice caramel color with the balsamic vinegar. Now, we've already cooked our pasta, mm -hmm. and that's, oh, I put it in the, the warming drawer. It's over in the other, <laughs> it's over there. <laughs> I moved it when she wasn't looking. Okay. We have penne, penne pasta? Penne? Penne. Yes. You can use any kind of pasta. You need this? Ah, uh, we might. Scoop stuff out. Yeah, go ahead. I want to help. <laughs> Why does that smell good? Oh, doesn't it though? Mm-hmm. See, the balsamic is really, really yeah. good. Mmm, excellent. Yes. 
Excellent. <laughs> As my brothers would say about now, where's the beef? <laughs> mix this together? Sorry guys, I don't cook that much meat. <laughs> Is, do we mix this or just yes, leave it? just mix it all up together. Oh. Looks great. And we're going to pass some Parmesan. Where's that? It's in the refrigerator. Oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't gotten it out yet. We're just okay. going to pass that. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, it looks good. It and really it smells does. so good. And look at it. It's, it's so colorful. It's really, really pretty. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let me check this out. <laughs> Does this meet your approval, Carl? Where's the meat? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's eat. Let's, let's go. do it, okay. I'll get the Parmesan. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Manja. I'm Mary Kay with Chilicious Cooking, and for one of our shows, we are going to be doing something with my neighbor, Pat Mixer. Hi, how you doing, Mary Kay? Good. Hi, Pat. Hey, sweetie. Oh, good to see you. Pat has goats. I do. We are going to milk the goats. We're going to make some yogurt. And some chevreau, which is goat cheese. Goat cheese. Mm -hmm. That's French. That's French. That's French. You've got French for goat. <laughs> You're learning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak French, so I'm, yes, I'm learning. Yep, yep. So we're going to make some. I have La Mancha. That's Margie, and she gives us some excellent milk. And we have uh, her daughter, which she is fairy, and she's half Nubian, half uh, La Mancha. And we have a Nubian, uh, Moonlight, and we have William. William. William is a brand mm -hmm. new baby goat. Yeah, he's about four weeks old. And oh, he's so cute. Sometime in June, maybe July, we're going to uh, mate him with Moonlight and yeah. um, have some more little girls, hopefully. Good. Lots more milk coming. Good. So what are some of the things that we can do with the, the goat milk? Well, you can make yogurt. You can make um, different kinds of cheese. People think that, you know, when you talk about goat cheese, it's, um, it's you know, feta cheese, that kind of thing. Uh -huh. But you can make cheddar cheese, you can make provolone cheese, there's blue cheese. It's the uh, cultures, I'm learning with the cultures that you use with your goat milk that make the cheese different. Okay. And then the processing and the length of time you age the cheese and how you press it. There's just, there's a science to it and an art. It's definitely an art. But uh -huh. I, I'm, I'm getting the beginnings, learning the simple things. So we're gonna stick with some of the simpler things for everyone, uh, some chevre, some yogurt, and uh, there's a lot of great things you can do when you do make the chevre cheeses because you have the whey mm -hmm. and you have the curds. The curds become the cheese. Then you have the whey and then the whey can be used to marinate meat. It can be used to cook your beans, soften your beans. There's a lot of minerals in it. You know, that's what they do with the whey powder. When you, the protein powders that you buy in the health food store. Yeah, we whey. use a lot of whey powder. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you just dehydrate it down and that's what you're getting. So it's very healthy for you, a lot of minerals in it. And you don't even have to sit on a tuffet. That's right, Miss Mary Kay. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have some fun and you'll get to meet all the kids. And goats are personality. They really have oh, a yeah. personality. Yes, they do. Yeah. So. Please stay tuned, and we will be doing that very soon. Very soon. Okay. Okay. Thank you, and hope you join us again. See you on the cheek. <laughs>